Eldrin, uh, good afternoon to you. So we know then that Mr. Thongo has been implicated in irregular expenditure, and uh, you'll tell us that uh, that would have been the, the genesis for this uh, fairly sudden decision today. Well, certainly. Um, and you'd remember that that report came out a couple of months ago and then the Integrity Commission of the ANC in the province then kicked in after the PEC took this matter to the Integrity Commission to investigate. And it was the PEC that kept on hammering that this matter must come to some sort of finality. And if you look at the resignation letter that Brian Klongwa has issued, he does state that it has been eight years of these accusations being leveled against him and this matter has still not come to finality. It hasn't been ventilated in in the court of law but now he has decided to step down but what we should take into consideration Jeremy is that he does not just step down he steps down as per the recommendation of the Provincial Integrity Commission and to chat to us more about that decision by the Provincial Integrity Commission is Tesni Mutara who's the spokesperson of the ANC here in the province and of course the ANC has now said that they accept this resignation from Brian Long. Yes we do um, we you would, as you even mentioned yourself, it's been a protracted um, battle that has not seen the light of day in court. Um, so we want it really to reach its finality in court uh, because that's really the arbiter of justice. Um, but we have agreed with the recommendation of the Integrity Commission for the comrades not to serve in public office. And, and here's the thing about that, though, is that uh, Brian Flongwa, who is the chief whip, who, um, is still waiting for a date, I guess, to be set down, that this is the particular date that he'll be stepping down on as, as chief whip of the ANC. But he still maintains or retains his position as a member of the provincial legislature. And if one reads into this, um, the Integrity Commission says they must step down from all public positions. Yes, well, we engage in the process currently. So the first is then, of course, for him to step down as the, as the chief whip. Um, and then that position to be filled and then other um, processes to unfold, which will include, of course, his membership as a, as a member of the legislature. Why would it be taking so long? Why can't he just say that I'm resigning as an MPL member and as I'm, I'm resigning as chief whip? I think it's just so that we manage the process uh, very well because the legislature is in session. Um, so you have to, you'll have to appoint a, a chief whip in, to replace. Um, there are a n number of uh, responsibilities that a chief whip um, is responsible for, and you, you, which even includes um, the introducing of a new member. Would it be fair to say then right now that Brian Flongwa should be expected at some stage to resign as a member of the Gauteng Legislature? Yes, that was the resolution of the PEC. Okay. And let's speak about some of the other recommendations. One of those recommendations is that these members um, lose their membership or the memberships be suspended. Can you just take us through that and why it is that the PEC has decided that actually that's not the route that we want to go? Okay. The, in, in terms of the constitution of the ANC, issues around membership and sanctions of membership resides with the disciplinary committee. Um, it is, resides with the disciplinary committee and those are constitutional. Um, so we just felt that the Integrity Committee um, or the Integrity Commission can't make sanctions against membership. It's only the disciplinary committee. But the NEC is also um, has a similar situation with them where the National Integrity Commission has made recommendations related to members' membership. If the NEC... Um, agrees with those recommendations, it's going to set a precedence, and if need be, the PEC may be called in um, to follow suit. What can you tell us about those recommendations that have been made with regards to their membership? It was about the termination or the, let me say, the suspension of their membership. So not termination, but just suspension? Yes, uh, for a period of time.